Want to get faster at Illustrator? If so, then you need to be using shortcuts and specifically shortcuts for the actions that you're repeating the most all day long. Whether you're making fashion sketches or designing prints and patterns, the shortcuts we'll be discussing in this video are the most crucial ones that you need in order to speed up your workflow. And make sure you watch to the end because I also have a bonus shortcut for you and a free download. So let's get right into it. Shortcut one is control two to lock a selection. This is important because when we're creating our artwork, we often have to draw objects on top of one another to create our designs. Locking objects temporarily allows us to draw on top of an object without messing it up. This is something you'll find yourself doing all day long. And when you're ready to unlock everything, just press alt control two. Shortcut two is control G to group and shift control G to ungroup. You're going to be grouping things all the time. And if you're not, you definitely should be. Different parts and paths that belong to one object should always be grouped together so that you can easily move and alter that object all at once, such as on a fashion sketch. All the parts of that one sketch should be grouped so that you can then move it together easily. If you don't, something like this will happen when you try to move it and the sketch falls apart or winds up with missing parts. Same thing on patterns and prints. If you draw different flowers to create a repeat, each flower needs to be grouped. Otherwise, when you try to move, scale, or rotate it, you're going to have a really hard time and you're going to make a mess of your file. So please group your objects. And whenever you need to ungroup for any reason, you can just hit shift Control g to ungroup. Shortcut 3 is Control c to copy, which we all know, but there are three ways to paste and you should be using shortcuts for all of these. Control v paste the object that you copied somewhere near the middle of the page. But this isn't always the best way to paste, since then you'll have to move the object over to where you want it. Instead, you can use Control f to paste the copied object directly in front of the first object, or Control b to paste the copied object directly in back of the first object. You can also copy objects by selecting them, holding the Alt key, and moving the object over. If you want to move the copy over in a straight line, then hold Alt Shift, drag in the direction you want to move it, and the copied object will remain perfectly aligned with the first object in whichever direction you pull it in. Shortcut 4. Pressing the letter P is the shortcut to bring up your pen tool, which is probably the main tool that you're using to sketch on Illustrator. I know it's the main one that I use. And when you're sketching with the pen tool, when you finish sketching a shape, if it's a shape that doesn't have closed paths, then in order to start drawing a new separate shape, you need a way to release the pen tool so it doesn't continue to connect the lines to the first shape. So when you're done drawing that first shape, just hit the enter key and this will release or disconnect your pen tool from the first shape. And when you start drawing again, it will be separate from that first shape, which is what you want. Shortcut five. Control Z is your way to undo an action that you made by mistake. Mistakes are gonna happen often and Control Z is definitely your friend. So if you drew something wrong, maybe you realize you drew this sleeve too long or something like that, just hit Control Z to undo the last action that you made. And you can actually keep hitting Control Z over and over if you want to go back several steps. And if you undo an action and then realize right away that you wanna redo it again, then in that case, just hit Shift Control Z to redo. Shortcut six. You're often gonna be changing the color of your objects. In order to specify whether you're changing the fill color or the stroke color, the one that you're changing needs to be in front here. So instead of having to go over to the toolbar every time to switch them, just hit the letter X and the fill and stroke box will swap places and you'll be able to choose a new color for whichever one you want to change. Also, if you wanna to revert to the default fill and stroke, which is a white fill and a black stroke, then just hit the letter D and it'll go to that default. Next, we have shortcuts seven to 10, but real quick, if you're finding this content useful, please give this video a like and please subscribe. It'll help me to keep bringing you more videos like this. Shortcut seven is clicking on the letter M to select the rectangle tool and clicking on the letter L to select the ellipse tool. These two shapes are the ones you'll be using most often. And so I thought they should be counted together. And I think that Illustrator knows that because there are only two shapes that actually have a keyboard shortcut. The other lesser known shapes like the polygon tool or the star tool don't have any keyboard shortcuts. Shortcut eight consists of our selection shortcuts. I'm gonna put four quick ones here together. 
You can click on the letter V to pull up your selection tool or black arrow. You can click on the letter A to pull up the direct selection tool or the white arrow. And to select everything on your board without having to drag over it all, just hit Ctrl A and everything will be selected, except for any objects that you have locked. And this one isn't a shortcut, but in case you don't know, to select multiple objects at the same time, let's say they're not next to each other and you can't just drag over them, in that case, select the first object, hold the shift key, and click on any other objects that you want to select to select them all at the same time. Shortcut 9 or hotkey 9 is the tilde key. The tilde key is this key right here near the top left corner of your keyboard under the escape key. It looks like a little wave. If you want to move a pattern within a shape, like if you want to reposition the placement of the pattern, then select it with the direct selection tool, letter A, then hold down the tilde key and move your pattern by clicking on the arrows on your keyboard to move the pattern up, down, left or right. You can also hold the tilde key and use your selection tool to move the pattern in any direction that you want. Shortcut 10. In fashion sketching, we usually draw half of the sketch and then copy and reflect it over to the other side. And when we're making patterns, if we're sketching symmetrical objects to put into our patterns, we do the same thing. Draw half of it and then copy and reflect it to the other side. But when we do this, we need to join and average all those points that are in the middle. The quickest way to do this is to select over the two points and hit Ctrl J to join them and immediately after hit Ctrl Alt J to average them. You'll be using this a lot and it's a lot quicker to use the keyboard shortcut than having to keep going up to the top menu all the time and selecting these options. And here's a bonus shortcut. Another two actions that you'll be performing the most are transforming objects and arranging the order of your objects. The quickest way to pull up the options for both of these is to select your object and right click, which pulls up this mini menu that includes all of the transform options, including move, rotate, scale, and all of the arrange options such as send to front and send to back. There are other options in this mini menu too, but the transform and arrange options are definitely the most necessary. Some of you may already know these shortcuts, but are you using them? Maybe it seems like a hassle to have to remember them, but it's really not that hard. And once you start using them, it becomes second nature. Just start with one or two and you'll see how quickly it starts to become automatic. And then you can add more and more shortcuts to your work routine. It's really worth it because I definitely see a difference in my speed when I use the shortcuts. So let me know in the comments below if you're already using these shortcuts. Did you learn any new ones? And do you feel that they make a difference in speeding up your workflow or not? And if you have any others that you find to be really crucial, leave that in the comments too. I'm sure we'd all be interested to know. Oh yeah, and to help you to remember these shortcuts, I've put them all onto a free download that you can find linked in the description below. So make sure to grab that. And don't forget to watch the next video where I'm gonna tell you all about Adobe Illustrator mistakes that beginners make and how to avoid them. See you there.